Welcome to this week's Desmond's Dondas and this is an extra frontispiece to the Donda just to show you our latest arrival before it goes on the wall of stickers or rather the door of stickers. We have a new sticker from Crafty Caravanners and that will be going up on the door. So to continue with the, uh, the video I'll hand it over to the guy in a different coloured shirt will be along right about now. We asked you last week for a few questions and we're going to cover those today. We had uh, a number of questions, four which we're both going to answer and one which I'm going to leave to the expert um, to answer. The uh, So what's new in the world of uh, Desmond? Um, We've got a flat battery, or we thought we had a flat battery. Um, jump started and took him for a ride, and it turns out we've got a dock battery charger, so new one coming. Um, anything else, yeah? No, tell them how old the battery charger is. I don't know how old the battery <laughs> charger is. <laughs> Let's put it this way it's, five years old. it's older than the amount of time we've lived in this house, and that's 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> it's. Uh, the fish tank is full. We've stopped the leak and the fish have started to move back in. Move them in gradually to allow the filter to take on the load. So here we go with the questions you've asked us this week. We'll start with one from Camper Van Tails. And the question is, what is the longest time you've been away in Desmond? And did that either make you think that you would like to go full time or put you off the idea of ever going full time? Uh, the longest we've been away in Desmond was the 17 nights that we had when we did the English Invasion, which we've just done this last year. In answer to the question, it proved that we could go full time, but I don't think I'm ready to do it. To be honest, I like coming home. That's my answer. See, you have to get one answer wrong. <laughs> I I could do it at the drop of a hat. Um, it's although the 17 nighter is the longest we've been away in Desmond. Of course, we have been away in the caravan for longer. When Lindsay finished college, we went away for over a month uh, doing CLs, and uh, it was a great trip. Um, but yeah, I I could do it at the drop of a hat. The problem I have with uh, long term in a van is my medical requirements and appointments, etc. So. The longest we could probably go away anyway would be just over just six to eight weeks it would be about the longest we could go away without any having to come home for uh, medical appointments or whatever but that's just the way life is so we'll when when the time comes we'll go long term but not full time is probably the best way of putting it yeah yeah i think so olivewood documental asked us two questions, one of which we'll deal with now and one towards the end of the video, just, just to split it up. Uh, you may know John um, as competitor John on Twitter if you don't follow him on, uh, on YouTube. And he said, if you could go anywhere in the world in a leisure vehicle, where would you choose to go? And again, I'll let Lindsay go first at this one. I have two places that I would really love to go and see. One of them is Australia. I would love to go around to Australia, which I think could take years. And the other place, which I'm not really sure you could get a leisure vehicle round, would be Japan. I have a fascination with Japan and then also China. So that would be my three choices, even though I can't count. Yeah, I'd love to go there. He said one choice, but I suppose if you go into Australia, you might as well stop off on the way. <laughs> oh dear. Sorry. And, uh, well, I just extend that trip a bit and uh, I'd love to go to New Zealand um, because it's apparently, and from what I've seen, um, it's Scotland on steroids. I've never been there. Um, one of the few countries I've not been to, um, but uh, yeah. That's one of the places I'd like to go, and to add another one a bit closer to home, Norway. And before somebody says something, she's been there. 
I've been there as well, but only for work. So Lindsay's been there. Yeah, oh. when I was 12. So we could be going back to Norway. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'll be, as I say, I've been there for work, but both Civi and Air Force, but you, you don't get to tour around and see places. Air Force, you're on the Air Force base or their naval base as it happened. And with the uh, with Civi work, it was airport, go to where you're working, back to the airport and home. It was, yeah, like that. Hi Camp, he asked us, what would be your favourite place to donder? Mountains, forests, coastal, etc. Well, the quick answer to that is the moment, anywhere. <laughs> There you go. Um, again, Lindsay. Well, we're quite lucky in where we live in the fact that we've got forests around and we've got rivers. The only thing that's missing, which I'm missing a lot, which is ridiculous, is the sea. So at the minute, the place I would want to go is the coast. That's it. An easy one for me is, it's, it's really anyway, I would just like to get away, but yeah. Mountains, forests, coasts, lochs, rivers, um, the kind of places we went to before all this started and we're, uh, we're hoping to get going again as soon as possible, but whenever, whenever that is. Yeah. Um, if, I had to, if I had to narrow it down to one place, it would be mountains, mountains with waterfalls and rivers. That's three places. <laughs> yeah, neither of us can count. <laughs> Another question. Happy place camping. Have you ever donned in the US? If so, where? If not, where would you like to and what would you like to see? Well, Lindsay can answer that one for herself quickly. The Grand Canyon, and I've never been. That's it. Lindsay has not been to the States, um, I have, and in the US I have been all up and down the eastern seaboard from uh, Maine to the Florida Keys. Uh, my favourite places there would be Key West and around the Chesapeake Bay. But we've never done it in an RV. And places I'd like to go in an RV, um, I'd probably do things like, want to do things like Route 66, the Grand Canyon, um, the road from Key West right the way up the eastern side, and the road down from, uh, come on, that place Bill Gates lives, all the way down to California and so on. Um, whether or not I get to do it, I don't know. But what I would really like to do is a trans-Canadian uh, RV trip. And who knows, one day, one of those might happen. We had one more question. Uh, this is the other question from uh, John, competitor John. And I'm not sure how serious he was about this one. It's, uh, I wish he'd stop laughing and looking smug. Oliver Documental. How can you explain the dark energy under the auspices of Einstein's theory of relativity? And I'll hand that over to Lindsay to answer. Well, John, here's the small answer. The cosmological constant was first proposed by Einstein as a mechanism to obtain the solution of the gravitational field equation that would lead to a static universe effectively using dark energy to balance gravity. Are you still with me or have I sent you to sleep? However, this has become known as his biggest blunder. Check out Lombrissier's modification to the theory to see how this has changed things in the light of modern understanding. In other words, John, there you go. What she said. <laughs> <laughs> if you'd like to ask us any more questions, whatever nature, do so below and uh, thank you for watching this far and we'll see you again for some Wednesday waffle.
Don't forget to join us on Mondays and Fridays for Donda videos. Stay safe everyone, please. Stay safe. Bye for now. Thank you for watching Desmond's Donders. We'll hope you'll join us again for more photos, waffle and video as we travel around Scotland. Bye for now.